Hey Alabaster, we wanted to kind of reintroduce you to a really amazing program that has been happening in our area and we are going to talk with Brandon Matthews and you are the program director of For Tomorrow. Yes, that's right. All right, we're going to talk a little bit about For Tomorrow and let you know if you're a parent especially, you want to pay attention to this one. But I want to get a little background first on Brandon. Tell us about yourself, what you do. Yeah, so uh, my family and I moved to Alabaster in uh, 2011. Okay. We moved here for the purpose of planning Cultivate Church. We launched in 2012, just uh, celebrating 10 years as a church. Church. And uh, when we moved to this community, we really felt like we were here to make a difference, mm -hmm. uh, to not just receive, but to invest in the place that we were going to be. Uh, we knew planning a church was not going to be easy, but when we moved here, we said, this feels like home. This is where we're going to raise our son. Uh, this is where our family's going to grow, and this is where we're going to call home. Yeah. And so we just always look for opportunities uh, of ways that we can give back or be a part of our community. So we asked ourselves just as a family, why do we live in this neighborhood? Like, what's the reason that we're in this neighborhood? What can mm -hmm. we do to make this place better? Um, so through all of those just serving opportunities in the city, uh, I discovered what uh, was going to become at the moment for tomorrow as this started. Um, through just the community involvement of others. That's awesome. And Cultivate's doing amazing things. I love seeing you. you guys grow. You've got yeah. your new building now yes. in with Crunch Fitness, yes. right? Or next to Crunch it's Fitness. It's been amazing. That's it is awesome. so great. Yeah. And, and I love it during the week because I can walk out of the church and into the gym, that's never touch a car. So perfect. that's G. If they would just put me a door. Right, from the right inside in of my office and it would be great. There you yeah. go. Okay, so obviously, like you're saying, you felt like there's no coincidence in life. God yeah. has put you in these places for a reason and you saw a need and For Tomorrow was built. Tell us what it is. Yeah, so For Tomorrow began in partnership with um, Compact 2020 at the time, Compact Now, which is uh, part of our law enforcement of Shelby County. Yes. And uh, the whole reason behind that is because we have uh, issues in any community, no matter what community you have, with just substance use. Mm. And so it was their desire to help provide a program, sort of an umbrella to all of our communities, uh, that we would be able to do something about the substance use that's in our community. So in 2017, just a group of people in the city began meeting locally in the city of Alabaster. Um, and so in 2019, we became um, a part of a national organization of prevention communities. And so we received a federal grant, and that federal grant just really expedited some of the volunteer work that we were already doing in the community. It gave us a budget, okay. it gave okay. us some resources, it connected us to communities just like ours, doing work just like us all across the country. And with that, I had been volunteering for two years, we needed someone to just say, I'll take the responsibility of the organization mm -hmm. and organizing once we received our federal grant. And so at the time, uh, Marty Hanlon, our previous mayor, said, um, we would love for you to lead this, would you do yeah. it? And I had already been involved in doing it anyway. There was just a little bit more responsibility that came onto it. Right. But I'm just passionate about what it is and what it does. And I would just, I, I'm so excited for more people to know the amazing things that's happening through so many volunteers right here in our community through For Tomorrow. So tell me as a, as a parent, um, I've got young children, maybe they have teenage children, things that are happening now, it's, it's a whole new world. We are living in a completely different yeah. world than what we grew up in. That's right. um, so why is this important for parents? Yeah, it's incredibly important because um, we live in a, an incredible community. Alabaster is a great place to live and to work and to raise a family, um, but it's being proactive that right. retains that excellence 20 years from now, another generation from now. So we understand that our kids are more connected to everything, mm -hmm. the resources that are out there, what kids are able to get. Uh, you would be amazed, mind blown, of what you can order from Amazon, uh, products that are laced with different substances that look just like gummy bears or you know silly straws, all these different things, right. cereals. And so our kids have all this access. They know what's happening. Uh, but they don't necessarily know that it's dangerous. They don't really know what they're doing. Mm -hmm. And as a parent, it's hard to keep up. It is. Parents are busy. Uh, parents, um, you know, they're not on social media all the time in the networking of what our kids are. Yeah. So we felt the responsibility now to educate and empower our families to eradicate substance use in our community. Yeah. So the more educated both our families and our students are about what they're doing and what's available, 
uh, the more we educate them and then tell them how to make good decisions, coping yeah. skills, how yeah. to say no. Uh, students, how to be confident in themselves to stand up and go, you know what, That's that may be fine for you, you want to do that, but that's just not for me yeah. and I'm okay with it. And so we just try to provide as much information as we can and we say that what we do today is for tomorrow. Yeah. So all the investment of time and energy and work that we are willing to do today, it's for tomorrow. I have a six-year-old, or he's soon to be six, and he's going to grow up in this community. Mm -hmm. One day he's going to walk the halls of the high school. And so every bit of investment that I make now in your teenagers or your family, it's only going to make it better for my son the days he walks down the halls yes. of that high school. So everything that we do today really is, it's for tomorrow. Right. And so that's why I feel like it is so important for you as parents to know this is not just if you're a high school parent that you want to be yeah, right. involved or know about this. I mean, this is, this is happening now yeah. like from littles all the way it's up. catching up quickly from huh. from our young kids it's not just high schoolers right. anymore uh, you know there was a time to where we thought most about our high schoolers mm -hmm. but now more than ever it's important that we start much earlier because the kids are already aware you know I remember Absolutely. it was like you don't want to make them aware right. too early right. but now they're already there right so in a way you meet them where they are in an appropriate way but you we just have to start much earlier than we did before Okay, Brandon, let's talk about where people can find out more information. As a parent, where is the best place? Would it be Facebook? Yeah, I would say for parents, Facebook. Most of our uh, parents are still on Facebook. Yes. We haven't quite gravitated to everything else yet. But Facebook is a great place to be resourced. Uh, things that we're doing, things that we're doing locally, and things that we're doing nationally with other organizations that have national reach. Perfect. But it's very important to understand, I think, what makes what we do really unique and that I love most about it is that all of our focus is right here on the city of Alabaster. Mm. So every other year, we have what we call a pride survey. And it's like the old Scantron, you remember uh -huh. those in school where you check the bubbles? That goes out to all um, uh, different grade levels of our schools. And so what we do is we have students answer questions about substance use, about peer pressure, about their depression, their mental health, um, uh, just struggles they face in school with the peer pressures and things. And we take all that data that we receive every year from this massive survey across different age groups and we use that as our baseline to determine what we begin doing for the next year. Awesome. So depending on what our students said right here in our community, your kids, we use their information to focus everything we do on helping them. This is so vital. I, I'm so glad that we are gonna be talking with you more yeah. through the months ahead. We're gonna be talking about events coming up, how you can get involved, and more. Just yeah. topics that are affecting our parents sure. and kids every day. Brandon, thank yeah. you so much for Absolutely. giving us, kind of reintroducing us to For Tomorrow, yeah. and we'll talk with you again soon. Thank you. Thank you.